Hello, everybody. Welcome to day 29 of the 30 day shadow work challenge. You are literally there. You are at the end of, of, of the tunnel. And I hope you guys are feeling really, really proud of yourself. I know I'm proud of each and every one of you. The signal group is still popping. I'm going to say this again before anybody asks. We are leaving the signal group up. It's going to stay up. It's not going anywhere because shadow work isn't actually going anywhere. Even though you're participating in a challenge, shadow work is a whole life thing. And so many amazing friendships have been developed in that signal group. We have over 200 people all over the world in that group, helping each other, cheering each other on. And so we are going to be leaving that group up for anybody who wants to join, jump in that group and, and, and join in on the friendship and the support. Absolutely go ahead and do that. It will be the same signal support group for the 60 day challenge, which is coming in 2023. But with that being said, let's go ahead and look at your challenge for today and for tomorrow, the final day. So once again, you are getting up, making your bed up, you're no, no snacking after 7 p.m. Um, you're either doing the 45 minute kickboxing or the yoga or the bar. You've got Reiki meditation again today with Emmy. Um, you've also got some journaling to do. And then let's go ahead and look at tomorrow because this is the grand finale for this challenge. Your last meal again should be between 5 and 7 p.m. And you're going to be doing the 45 minute bar because guess what? That was the exercise you did on the very, very, very first day of this challenge 30 days ago. So I really want you to experience and really be present with this video and present with your body and look at how your body has changed over these 30 days. How has your mind changed over these 30 days? What we call that in Ashtanga, we call it the Mysore magic because when you start, you go into the Mysore room and you see people with their legs behind their head or doing handstands or back handsprings, back handsprings and you think, oh my God, I'm never going to be able to do that. And then something happens at some point where you're practicing and you go, you know what? Maybe I can do that. Maybe it's starting to seem possible. So the magic of this is that things that seemed impossible are now starting to feel possible. And you start to realize just how powerful and just how magical you really are. So I want you to think about that in the 45 minute bar. What has changed? Was there something the first time you did this video where you thought I'm never going to be able to do this? Are you now doing it? Are you now enjoying the burn, the sweat? Do you feel thinner? Do you feel more? Do you feel stronger within your own body? How is that different? Where is that difference? All right. So. You're going to have a five minute cold shower again, same as normal. Do your food journal. Now for tomorrow, journals to ask yourself, how do you feel completing this challenge? Are you proud of yourself? What is the thing, biggest thing you learned about you? What is the thing you are the most proud of? What will you continue to do going forward? Which activities changed you the most? Which ones will you leave behind? Your final challenge. Pull out a calendar for the month of December. For the next 31 days, create your own challenge, just for you. Each day, schedule an exercise, a meditation, journaling, etc. Feel free to use this challenge as a template, but in your own personal December challenge, add something that really scares you. Maybe it's joining a yoga shala or taking a Reiki class to get attuned. Maybe it's going back to school or taking a course to learn something new that you've wanted to learn. Maybe it's starting a YouTube channel. Or as I said, maybe it's signing up for a 5K training to do a 5K or a 10K or a marathon. Or maybe it's picking up the phone and calling someone you need to make amends with. It's all up to you. You have the power to create this. You've had the power all along. Let me reiterate that. It's all up to you. You have the power to create this. You've had the power all along. Closing meditation. I want you to reflect on all that you've learned over the month. Take time to just be while listening to this chant. This is a very, very powerful chant. The mantra means in this chant that I am one with God. Because you are. Remember on those hard days, as Marnie Alton says, reach down and feel the earth. And remember... She will always be there to catch you when you fall.
The earth will always be there to catch you when you fall. Same closing ritual, going to bed before 10, turning off all your electronics. All right, you guys, I am so, so, so incredibly proud of you. You are all so incredibly powerful. And I am proud of you for sticking with it. I am proud of you for all the tears that you've shed. I'm proud of you for all the anger you released. I'm proud of you for all the forgiveness that you've granted yourself. I'm proud of you for all the laughter. I'm proud of you even on those days where you think you couldn't do anything and you just crawled to the living room and put that, that YouTube on anyway and did the very best you can. I am so proud of you. I hope at this point you've learned that it's not about the workout. It's not about the actual workout. Yeah, your body's going to change and get stronger, but it's about what the workout is showing you. What the workout, what the exercise, what the practice is bringing to the surface for you to confront, for you to conquer. Every single one of you, just by diving into your own underworld, has risen. Your vibration has risen. And by healing yourself, by being your own savior, you are collectively changing the community around you. So I thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the hard work that you've done because your hard work has affected me as well as your neighbor, as well as your spouse, as well as your children. And so I thank you for getting up every day and facing this battle because you are here on this earth for a reason. You are way more powerful than you know and you are way more special than you know. You are the light of God. You are that fractal of goodness. And sometimes we don't know that until we face the darkness. We can't know our own light until we face our own darkness. All right, you guys, this will be the last video for the challenge on my channel because tomorrow, as I said yesterday, over on Aquarius Rising Africa, or excuse me, solutions by Aquarius Rising Africa. We are going to be doing a live show at 11 o'clock Eastern time. So that's 11 o'clock for Atlanta, Georgia and New York City. So wherever you are in the world, just look, engage how many hours apart you are from me at 11 o'clock. And this live show, we're going to be dropping the link into the chat. And so if you participated in this challenge, you can click that link and you can come on screen with us and talk about your experiences and talk about everything that you've learned about yourself about your own spirituality. Your job now is to pay it forward. Pay it forward. Keep taking care of yourself, but also pass this challenge, what you've learned from this challenge, onto others as well, so that we collectively can all walk each other home. I'll see you over on Solutions by Aquarius Rising at Africa tomorrow around 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. I will put a link to that channel down in the description box below. If you're not subscribed, you can go ahead and get subscribed. And again, as Marnie Alton says, feel the earth and know she will always be there to catch you when you fall.